grew up in the same house my parents live in now. And uh, when we were kids, we would go out every once in a while and help my dad change irrigation water. And you know, at the time, that was almost every block we had. And now we're down to we got rid of our last hand line two or three years ago. When I came back, the tightest block we had was 17 by 9, and now we're consistently planting a 12 by 5 on trellis, a vertical trellis. We tried our hand at V trellis, and um, we just find it to be a little more complicated than it's worth. And so um, right now we're focusing on a vertical trellis and hoping that that is a little bit more of a consistent block. The V trellis just double the cost in the trellis putting it up. Um, it's more complicated to, to make it sturdy um, than a vertical trellis. It's also harder to train the crew on pruning and we found it's a little bit more difficult to pick everything from the inside of the row rather than being able to reach from both sides. And so um, if you aren't careful with your pruning, then you're missing fruit that you can't reach when you're picking. I think is a little more difficult um, with fire blight. It's easier to see when you can look at both sides of the tree rather than when you're going down the middle of a V trellis block, uh, you're only looking at one side, so you might be missing what you can't see on the back side of the tree. We've done all of our own installation so far. One thing we did was set up a post driver on our mini excavator. Working on my own, I can get one to two acre block done in a pretty short amount of time, where before it was a guy on an auger and then a couple of guys putting posts in and lining up and you'd have four or five guys doing the same job that now one person's doing. Getting away from the labor intensive side of things, so we run a two low wires to get the tree started and then um, those are basically temporary and instead of having a piece of bamboo for every tree which is time consuming to put in we just put one more wire in at the bottom and then um, in two or three years we're either going to remove it or if it works out move it up to the top spot on the trellis you know where you had bare ground a couple of days ago now you've got uh, fully planted orchard. When I started I had no clue what I was doing because I didn't go to school for this and uh, so I just started attending all the meetings that you could go to, um, reading articles and, and paying attention to what other people were doing and then eventually before you know it you kind of start to change roles where you're not thinking about what you need to be doing anymore and you're just doing it or you're aware enough yourself that you can come up with your own solutions and not have to uh, rely on somebody else telling you what needs to be done.